Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another double unboxing for Wolf and Time. Obviously my setup is a little different right now. We got a new chair. I'll insert a picture. I'm literally obsessed with it. It looks so cute down here in our basement, but it did kind of like screw up my filming situation because this bookcase used to be against the wall over here and now you could kind of just see the side of the bookcase when I'm filming and it looks really weird. You can't see our beautiful fall tree here and that really bummed me out so I just thought I would move and try a new setup so let me know what you think. I'm just gonna give it a go for these next couple videos and see how I like it and then we'll go from there but for today I will be in this new setup for my double unboxing. I have two Wolf and Time boxes to unbox today. I just got home yesterday from a 12 day long work trip that I was doing. I was working a couple trade shows and that explains my voice. It's completely shot, so I apologize about that. But while I was gone, these guys came in the mail. They have been waiting for me. It literally took everything in me to not rip them open yesterday as soon as I saw them, but I wanted it to be a surprise. Again, I always like for it to be a surprise and I open it with you guys. So I'm just going to hop into these after talking a little bit more again about the company. I like to mention a little bit about Wolf and Time before just diving into the boxes. So again, I'll put a timestamp down below if you'd like to skip over this, if you already know the deal. But if you'd like to hear a little bit more about the company, I will go into that right now. So I'm just gonna read off the website a little bit about this first box. The first one that I'm going to unbox is the Wolf and Time box. That is the smaller sized box. There is five self-care and magical items to help you connect to nature, yourself, and the path of the moon. Expect things like rituals, oracle cards, crystals, original artwork, etc. So that is $28 per month. So that is the first box that I will be opening today. The second box I will unbox, obviously it is a lot larger. This is the larger sized box, the Luna Lux box. There is 10 items in this one instead of the five. And it again includes items that are based around spirituality, connecting with the moon, connecting with nature. If that is something that interests you, this box would be perfect for you. I do have a code. You could get 15% off your first subscription box. It's xwolf15. You could just enter that on their website and you will get 15% off. So definitely use that. I'll link it down below, like I said. Um, and now I'm gonna just hop into the boxes because I think that's all you guys need to know. I already used my baby scissors to cut into the box. So I'm going to start right now, like I said, with the Wolf and Time box for the month of August. I just propped it up with something so it's a little bit higher. I like when you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing. So first on top, we have one of these card stocks with all the information for Wolf and Time on it. These are included in every single box. It has her social media on there, a little bit about the boxes, about joining the newsletter. Right on top, we have this little folded piece of paper with a fern sticker. So this is the piece of paper that has everything that is in the box. This is what I read when I go over my little up close um, videos that I take of the items. I'm not gonna peek at this though because I like to make it a surprise. So the first thing we have is a print. If this is your first video of mine that you're watching doing a Wolf and Time unboxing, Kat is an artist. She has a YouTube channel, The Luna Loft, where she films herself making the paintings that she turns into prints and includes in the boxes. I actually have literally one back here. Anytime I get them, I get super excited. I have some in my office at work. I have some here at home. They are so beautiful and they look so, so nice together because they look like a perfect, complete set. So these little ones are really nice to have and you could frame them. She includes the measurements of them. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic so you can see better. This guy looks like a little fox. Here he is. Ooh, it looks like there's like little spirits in the background and around him. I didn't even notice that. Do you see that? There's like, sorry about my nails, but look, there's like little <gasps> ghosty guys around him. That's so cool. I didn't even notice that until I took a closer look. Tree Spirit is an original watercolor paint I created just for this box. It is of a spirit fox emerging from the trees with its mystical guides floating up and around from the forest. In many cultures, the fox is a mystical animal showing agility and skill while also bringing good fortune and having the ability to shapeshift. Spirits of the trees come in many forms and the forest is full of ancient energy that wants you to speak to it, connect, and learn. These spirits can also be your guides to help you heal and transcend. So <laughs> my dog just made herself comfortable back here. So if you guys could see her little face, she's just gonna hang out for the rest of the video, hopefully. We got this new chair and she's like obsessed with it. So you wanna be in the video? Okay, we we'll stay right here, okay? What, you gonna play? What, you wanna play? Oh my God. You gotta sit nice, okay? She has her face on my lap right now. We'll see if she stays. So next I have this Transcended Soul Tree Ritual. So you need a seeded blank paper, cinnamon, chrysanthemum flowers, 
a tree sticker, rose quartz chips, pen, and fallen tree leaf. So this is the ritual. Super nice. I'll have to see everything else that's included in the box that has to do with this. Then I see this black box here. So in here there is, ooh, what's this? A necklace. Usually anytime we get something in here, it's a jewelry piece. Ooh, what is this? That is so cool. We have a locket. Oh my God, it's a locket necklace, guys. It's like a little book. Look at how cute that is. It's like a little book on a beaded chain. Sorry, I have like makeup all over my hands. And inside, there's just a little area that you could put stuff in. You could put like herbs or something in there. That is so, so cute. I've never seen a locket, like the shape of a book. That is so sweet. Oh, I love that. It came, by the way, everything is packaged in this little moss. It's super like earthy and just beautifully packaged. I love this, this is gorgeous. On the front of your locket is the image of a tree and as you open it, you will see the shape of a special book. Made of stainless steel, this necklace can come with your hikes, adventures, and calming retreats into nature. You can put leaves, herbs, crystal chips, little papers with healing words, charms, or anything else inside to inspire you. Let it be your companion to hold your treasures and guide you with a deeper understanding as you explore. I have a locket from when I was a kid and I have a picture of myself on one side, like as a child, and my brother as a baby, like on the other side. Um, so I love lockets, I think they're so sweet. This one is super cute. I love the fact that it looks like a little book. Next in here, ooh, is a stuff for the ritual, let's see. Oh, it smells so good in there. I smell the cinnamon like crazy. So here I have some seeded paper. I have some chrysanthemum flowers. I see the cinnamon and I have a little tree sticker like it said. So yeah, everything in this little package here is stuff needed for the ritual. Your gray velvet bag has all the elements for a special ritual to connect with the tree spirit. Use the items inside and the included ritual paper to learn about a tree in your area and to listen to its whispers, to thank it for its life, and to help your own soul grow. Included is the tree sticker, rose quartz chips, blank seeded paper, chrysanthemum, cinnamon, and the ritual. And finally, we have this little bag of tumbles, and these are beautiful. Oh my gosh, we have crazy lace agate little tumbles. These are beautiful, actually. These are so unique and different, like each one is very different. They're not like three of the same. In your silver bag are three tumbled crazy lace agates with colors of white, yellow, cream, red, brown, gray, and black. It is only found in one area of Mexico and was worn for courage and endurance by the ancient tribes that lived there. It is a mix of banded chalcedony quartz that is infused with iron and aluminum with complex patterns and occasional geodruzy deposits. The energy it has stabilizes the aura transforming negative energy into positive lower vibrations and brings grounding to the soul. It enlightens with awareness to your collective consciousness and nurtures self-growth in your spirit. It is known as a seeker transformer crystal, which aligns the natural energy it came from to the natural power of your mind. I gave you three crystals so you could travel with it, leave one on your altar, and leave one in a place that you feel happy and secure. You can also use them to create a triangle around you in a meditation, a crystal grid, or to create a nurturing energy that surrounds your soul. There's actually one more item. This one's down at the bottom. Sometimes I forget until I look at that little sheet to make sure that I grabbed everything out of the box. Ooh, this is a big book. It said there was a book, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. Beautiful, the healing magic of forest bathing. Finding calm, creativity, and connection in the natural world. Wow. This is so beautiful. It's a big book too, you guys. Inspired by the Japanese tradition of Shinrin-yoku, excuse me if I'm 
pronouncing that wrong. Forest bathing is the art of spending intentional time in nature and is practiced throughout the world to increase health and restore well-being. More and more people are turning to forest bathing as an evidence-based way to unplug, relieve stress and anxiety, and spark creativity. Through simple invitations to slow down, walk in silence, cultivate tree energy, and connect with sun and forest, this book enables you to incorporate the inspiring benefits of time spent in nature, a calm mind, renewed energy, boosted creativity and inner peace into your daily life to find deeper meaning and contentment. It's really rejuvenating to be out in the forest and in nature and just natural places, especially now that we live, I guess, technically in a city, Salem is a city. Um, I don't really get too much time in nature anymore. And just last night, Kevin and I, Kevin's my boyfriend, I don't think I've ever said his name on camera, but my boyfriend is Kevin. We were out in like, not a rural area, but it was like a less populated area near Salem. And I remember we got out of the car and I heard crickets. And I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't heard crickets in like nighttime, like summer noises in so long because we don't have that in Salem. Like you go outside and it's like silent. There really isn't anything. I mean, you'll hear like AC units outside, but I won't hear crickets. And it makes me really sad because where I grew up, I heard crickets, I had fireflies and I really didn't have that this year. And it's weird, even last year when we were living and renting the house that we were in, we had fireflies in our backyard and it was so beautiful and you just could hear the sound of like nature and it was so nice. So I definitely miss that a lot and I really have been lacking connecting to nature. So I'll definitely be interested in reading this book and kind of seeing some of the techniques that they use in order to really just appreciate being in nature. In this beautiful book is an engaging guide to the art of forest bathing, inspired by the Japanese practice of Shinrin-yoku, so you can explore the transformative power of nature in promoting your health, happiness, and a deeper connection to spirit. Forest bathing is the art of spending intentional time in nature and is practiced throughout the world. Through simple invitations to slow down, walk in silence, cultivate tree energy, and connect with sun and forest, this book will bridge the gaps so that your life will have deeper meaning and your soul will become more content. So that is the last item in this Wolf in Time box. That was amazing. I'm gonna go over what the theme of the box was. Into the forest you go to free your mind and soothe your soul. It is time to take you back into nature and touch the spirits of the trees, the energy of the land, and the magic that is as old as the universe. Transcended soul is the theme to bring you into another realm, one that brings your vibration to a peaceful knowledge that your nature guides are with you. Create magic moments, be your authentic self, Remember that you are here for greater purpose. It is time to transcend. Next month's theme for September is autumn abundance, gratitude, harvest, and nature. So this month's theme in August was all about connecting back to nature and the environment and the earth and really kind of detaching from technology and you know buildings and populated spaces, really just kind of getting back to the basics and connecting to that earth energy. And it's so powerful, it's so special, whether like I said, you live in a city or whether you live in a place where you're around nature all the time, it's really nice to take time and consciously think about connecting to the earth and the energies that nature has because it's so, so powerful. So that was everything that was included in the Wolf and Time box for August. I love this box, I love this theme. I can't wait to see what is in the Luna Lux box. Let me pop everything back in this box and then I will grab the Luna Lux box. All right, here she is, the Luna Lux box for August. Again, right on top, we have another one of these um, rainbow stickers, and this is Happy Mail again. Oof, already I see an Oracle card right on top. It's super different. I've never seen this deck before. And I have the Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh, this is a tarot card. Ooh, flight of ideas, flight of new things. Your tarot card was picked just for you by Spirit and has a special message for you. Whether it is medicine or encouragement, they both bring positive change to your life. I chose to accompany your Oracle deck with the matching tarot so they can work together in harmony. Bring it into your meditation ritual, place it on your altar or in your grimoire or journal to reflect upon its meaning to you. And the full deck for this particular tarot deck is available on the website shop. It's so crazy that this card came up because literally today Kevin and I were considering booking a trip somewhere that would involve a flight. So that is pretty funny. This is the Eight of Wands. This is the tarot card that was included on top. And we have another one of these beautiful cards that has all the information on it. 
Then we have, again, another one of these that goes into detail about everything that is included in this month's box that I'm not going to read because I don't want to spoil it, but I'll show you guys. Again, that is everything that is included in the Luna Lux box. So you know before I do. Transcend Soul Cutting Cords Ritual. So here we need a... I just saw the first thing on here it says Phoenix Athame. Where is it? Where is it? Shut the front door. I think it might be in it. I'm like spoiling it for myself just by reading this, but I don't own an Athame at all. I've never have, and I've always wanted one, but I just never like made that leap and got one. So that is so exciting. I always just use my finger when I'm doing stuff. Um, so an Athame, that's so cool. Transcended Soul Oil, Black Kyanite, Amazonite Chips, Tea Light, Cedar Tips, Witch Hazel, Calendula, and Black Salt. So that's everything that's needed for this cord cutting ritual. That is so insane. Now I have to try to find this Athame, guys. Like that's, <laughs> now that I know it's in here, like I need to find it. And I think it probably has to be in this box now. Like this, this kind of looks like it could be it. Oh, now I'm gonna spoil it for myself. I'm just so excited. Let's see. This could probably not even be it. I just skipped over the print, sorry. Oh, anytime she has something made, it's gorgeous. Remember that last time? My favorite item to this date that I got was that wolf mirror. Oh, this is it, guys. This is so beautiful. It's like the same material. It's so funny that I just said it. It reminds me of the time that we got that wolf mirror because it's like the same bronzy, beautiful material. Look at the detail. Oh. That is so pretty. Oh my God, it has her logo on it. The Wolf in Time like little logo here. That's beautiful. This is so beautiful. I love these custom pieces that she has. Let me grab my mirror, it's literally right there. These look so good together. Look at how gorgeous. Oh, oh my gosh. Anytime she gets something made, it's perfect. <laughs> there you guys are, hello. So I have this mirror, this is one of the last things that I got that was the same like material. This is beautiful. It looks so antiqued. Right down to the detail of like her logo on it. Uh, I could cry, it's gorgeous. You now have a one of a kind Athame that has been handcrafted just for this box. We designed it to be easy to travel with, light, copper toned and powerful. It has a handle in the form of a phoenix and our moon and time logo stamped at its base. It represents protection, transformation, release, and channeling. Use your own special way of cleansing it, charging it, and making it your own. The included ritual uses it to cut cords, but you can use it as a wand, an energy work, to cast your circle, to assist in your practice, or however you choose. All the elements for this powerful ritual are in your box, so it can be performed as soon as you need it. It encompasses the act of cutting negative energy cords in your life, healing your chakras and aura, and giving gratitude to your spirit guides for helping you. It is a practice in shadow work, but also in mending the past and letting your soul move forward to transcend. Next, we have this print. There's a phoenix in the back and there's some like swooshes, the goddess coming up. Ooh, it's just really beautiful. Wow, this print is very unique. It's not really like anything we've ever had before. I mean, there is still that incorporation of the animal, like there is a phoenix in the back, I'm assuming, because that's a phoenix. So there's the phoenix in the back. But there's also this like goddess here with like a fallen angel or something. So like rising from the ashes and it's really beautiful. Most every print that we get has been an animal. So the fact that this is incorporating other like pieces like a goddess or just other things, it's really unique. I've not had one like this. It's so, so beautiful. Love the, the wings up to the wings. Transcended Phoenix is an original watercolor painting I made just for this box. It illustrates the transition from being down in the ashes, alone and defeated, to the awakened soul that lifts its face to the light and grows wings to evolve into the Phoenix. The spirit of the Phoenix is transformation and it helps balance the mind, body and soul. It reminds us that we have many lives to live in this immortal state of consciousness and no matter how many times you feel like you are in the ashes, you can always rise up again. You could watch Kat's painting of this particular print on her YouTube channel and it's at the Luna Loft. I'm gonna cheat a little bit just so I can get some information on it because I'm curious, let's see. Transition from being down in the ashes to the awakened soul. That's exactly what it is. 
That's beautiful. So, so fitting. Transcended soul. Oops, I forgot to mention we also have these. Here, some incense. Ooh, these smell like coconut. That is so crazy. These are very, I've never smelled incense like this in my whole life. These smell like coconut. I'm gonna burn one right now. Yep, I gotta burn one right now, let's see. All right, I just popped my little incense burner over here. It smells really nice. Hopefully that's okay where it is. So if you see some smoke, that's what that is. All right, moving right along, I'm gonna open this box next. This little flat square. Ooh, this is pretty, this is a bracelet. Oh, this is so pretty. Hold on, let me get the little moss off of it. Aw, oh, this is so pretty. It's like one of these like bracelets that you pull out and then you can put it on and then tighten it by pulling them. Ooh, I have nothing like this. This is so pretty. Oh my God, look how cool it looks with the stretchy bracelets. I kind of like that. I wonder if she made this. She makes a lot of the items that are in the boxes. So here's this one. It is just this gold with some colorful little tassels. The sole can become weary, which also affects the body. This pure polished copper bracelet is known to help support your joint health and ease pain. It is said to help boost your immune system, slow aging, calm stress, and balance the hormones. Spiritually, it is known to be a conductor of energy, transferring vibrations from the physical realm to the spiritual one. It helps with channeling and communicating with higher beings, cleanses your aura, mind, and helps you receive messages. It helps protect you from negative energy while keeping your positive vibrations high, promotes confidence, and boosts manifestation. And then I have this little bubble wrapped oil, which should be the Transcend oil, I believe. So this is the oil that was talked about in the ritual. It is the Transcended Soul Sacred Spaces Ritual Oil. And inside there's some herbs and then little amethyst chips. It looks so pretty. Just like moving around in there. Let me see what this guy smells like. Ooh, it smells like lavender. It smells lavender in there. It smells like a really nice earthy blend. And the sticker is really, really nice. So that is so pretty. That is the Transcended Soul oil blend. In your included ritual, this handmade oil is also used and comes to you from a small woman-owned company named Sacred Spaces. They have made it with intention and it includes clary sage, lavender, bergamot, and corresponding herbs. It has a base of coconut oil and houses amethyst crystal chips to enhance its properties. You can visit their beautiful shop at www.sacredspacesli.com. And that incense legit smells like coconut. It's so, so crazy. Moving on, I have this here wrapped up in this black tissue paper. So I have this little mixture here. I have created a special black salt for you to use that will help you in protection and in manifestation. The base is black Hawaiian rock salt with black cohosh root and whole cornflower buds. These herbs bring strength, psychic ability, happiness, and love. Then I have this little bag, just a little black mesh bag. I love keeping these and using them for other things. Ooh, okay, and here we have some stuff again for the ritual. I see black kyanite down here. Here's the kyanite, I love kyanite. It looks like a witch's broom. It's so pretty. So we have some black kyanite here. I have a tea light candle that I see. And then I have some more herbs and flowers that I'll show um, in my close-up. In your black burlap bag are the other elements you need for your ritual. It contains a piece of black kyanite, cedar tips, witch hazel, calendula flower, amazonite chips, and a tea light candle. All of these items combine to help open the door of spirit communication, protect you, bring you harmony, and can assist in cutting cords and sealing your aura. Next, I have another little black satiny bag. And it feels like a rock in here, which I'm always excited when I get rocks. Ooh, this is pretty. Is this an appetite? What is this? It is appetite. Oh my God, pretty. Love that. It's a really nice size. 
The one that I have is like a light, a more light blue. That's so cute. It's like a perfect little circle. I love it. Hold your palm stone in your hand and feel its energy as it rests there. The appetite you have is a premium grade specimen with crystal pieces in blue, green, and gold. It activates your third eye chakra and brings you stimulating inner visions and enhanced psychic abilities. It supports you in retrieving past life information and helps you connect those patterns to this life. It brings you hope and can be used as a dream stone to bring you into your subconscious mind to give you creative solutions to your challenges and uplifts your spirit. It is a wonderful crystal to meditate with prior to any divination work and can assist you in your quest to know your inner spirit more. So I got an appetite palm stone and oh my god this is a whole deck dreamscape oracle oh my gosh guys it's a whole oracle deck that is so pretty the colors of this are so ethereal and beautiful oh my gosh dreams are natural portals into another realm of consciousness where we see the unseen and comprehend the incomprehensible we are not alone in this other world we have guides that help us understand visions unveiled during dream time Dreamscape Oracle presents 32 guides, some animal messengers, some mythological archetypes to help us explore the liminal spaces in our lives. This illuminated Oracle deck features gold foil accents. The 80 page guidebook allows us to interpret the messages we receive from our higher selves. The Dreamscape Oracle can be used as a standalone divination deck or as a companion to the Ethereal Visions Tarot. So they do have another tarot. I wonder if this is the same as, let me see, the card that we got. They look very similar. I think this might be the Ethereal Visions Tarot because it has that gold foil and like the same color scheme, potentially. I'm not sure, um, but they do look like they're related. Let me open this up. I want to look at some of the cards. On top, we have the guidebook, which is a, an elephant, and it goes into each of the cards. Ooh, the architect. Oh, look at the back of these. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. That is so pretty. Look at them all spread out. So, so nice. And they do have that gold foil accent on all of them. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Death Mother, Robin and Fox, the scales. We have Balance, Raven, oh, love that one. White Owl, Palomino, ooh, these are beautiful. Having a deck, like an Oracle deck that has to do with dreams and the dreamscape is really interesting and very different and special. I haven't seen one like this before. This particular one is really catching my eye right now. She has a moon on her head and it has that really pretty gold foil. Is the death mother. In the path of transcendence, we seek messages, guidance, and confirmation from our guides. We have included this beautiful new deck by Matt Hughes to help you with this important divination ritual. It is a combination of nature, animals, and mythological archetypes to help you explore each channel of communication. It is gold foil stamped and comes with an 80 page guidebook to help you understand the meaning of each of the 32 cards. You don't even just get like a single card, you get a whole deck. That is amazing. And this is the second deck that we've gotten, or that I have gotten since getting the Luna Lux in the um, Wolf in Time boxes to review for you guys. Um, the other one we got, I'm staring at it right now. Let me just go grab it. The other one that we got was the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. And this one, it reminds me of this. Wow, that's bizarre. Sorry, <laughs> I'm looking at this and like, there's a raven and then there's the white owl. Did I not just pull those cards to show you guys? That is so weird. But this is the other Oracle deck that we got in the past. So, so far now I have two from this box, which is amazing, beautiful, beautiful decks. I'm obsessed, I can't wait to work with this one. It's beautiful. I think Oracle cards are great on their own or just like it says to supplement using with a tarot card or with when you're using a reading, pulling Oracle cards along with your tarot cards. It is really great to get like a greater picture or just to have like a different approach because 
Um, there's just different cards, different meanings, and it kind of like you can connect to different oracle cards differently than you may with tarot cards. So I think it's really nice to experiment with different oracle decks and I absolutely love them. I think they're great. And just a quick little mention too, we did get an email from Kat regarding one of the herbs that was included in the box. So we were supposed to get calendula and instead um, corn flour was used in it. So she just wanted to send some calendula instead, which was super, super thoughtful. Again, she says the properties are very similar and you can use it either way, um, but she wanted to make sure that she was including it because this was the herb that was supposed to be included in the box. So I appreciate that so much. Like she noticed that the different one was included and wanted to send a little bit of the one that was actually supposed to be included. So I appreciate that so much. That was so, so, so amazing of her. So this also came in the mail. It was just this little herb on top of her card. I'm gonna probably just add this to what was included just because I think that, like she said, it's very similar, the properties. Honestly, if you're putting the intention into it, I think it'll be great. So I probably will just use this um, in the ritual and just add it to whatever was included. So the corn flour, I'm just gonna add this to everything else and kind of just make it a larger ritual. So I thought that was really nice. She did end up sending more of the calendula. So that is everything that was included in the August Wolf in Time box, as well as the Luna Lux box. Looking forward to next month as we transition into fall. Like I'm all about it. Right after this, I'm filming a video of stuff that I got for Halloween, a Halloween haul. So keep an eye out for that. I'll probably upload that next week. I say it all the time for somebody who's either new to the practice or is maybe looking for new things to do. If you are getting tired of thinking of your own rituals to do, or if you just are kind of like at a little bit of a plateau, which is kind of where I feel like I am at right now, my priorities have been a lot different than they used to be. And I've kind of come to a place of peace with where I am right now. I might not be doing as much as I used to in regard to my practice, but you know, I still try to incorporate things on a daily basis and use these rituals that are included in the boxes and just do little things to kind of connect back to my self-care and my practice and doing stuff like that. But it's definitely a lot different than it used to be. I'm at peace with that for right now because that's where I'm supposed to be in my life right now. So um, I think just getting boxes like this once a month, um, it really does help when you might have your priorities that are elsewhere. So I don't know, I really appreciate these boxes. I appreciate the themes of them. I really appreciate the care that goes into everything because I do find a use for everything. Thing. So let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this box before? Would you consider getting it? Let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.